Hey guys, welcome back to my bubble and in today's video I have quite a uh, different type of video for you guys. It's a tag, it's a fragrance tag and um, I've never done one of these before. I was watching Amy Glam and she posted this tag up on her channel and it was fun. Like watching it was fun and just I was just very intrigued by what you know it was all about so i decided to go ahead and do it myself she didn't tag me but she just you know suggested everyone that wanted to do the tag and participate in the tag to go ahead and do it so here i am so originally opinionated sense created this tag um, opinionated sense gave different scenarios and different categories for um fragrances like the mo i guess what's it called the most fragrance tag hence my title for this video so the first i have it all written down i'm old school don't judge me <laughs> this works better for me um so the first category was the most confidence and the scenario that she gave was you're being honored at work in front of friends family and co-workers you have to go up on a stage naked which fragrance would you use? <laughs> now, that kind of threw me off when they said naked because I I wouldn't do that shit for a million bucks. In front of people, just go up to a stage naked. It's not in me, I wouldn't do it. But anyways, um, the fragrance I chose for that, as it stated, the most confident. It has to be, for me, a bold, badass reckless careless type of scent so i chose dior addict like this is a scent that a badass female would wear like like a badass like i'll do it all i'll go and strut my my boobs my guts and my jiggle wiggle when i walk <laughs> up on that stage with no shame type of scent dior addict like i feel like you wear this you can conquer the world when i when i smell this i think of like strong bold reckless i don't give a fuck type of females and angelina jolie michelle rodriguez even meryl strip <laughs> like yeah so definitely dior addict for that situation so the next one is the most desirable and the scenario is if you had one chance to captivate mesmerize and to get a second date with your crush which fragrance would you use and this one was a very very easy one for me because this is like my daytime scent you guessed it <laughs> michael kors by michael kors i absolutely love this fragrance you guys this is this is all in one bottle this is bold this is sexy this is sophisticated this is elegant this is grown this is everything in a bottle this is a scent as you can see that dent <laughs> this is a scent that one I've had for like years and two I always wore every time that I went on a date every time that I was out with my boot thang thang a thang thang whoever he was <laughs> I know that sounds terrible you wear the same scent with uh, yeah yeah but it smells good it just smells good it leaves them wondering it leaves them wanting to smell more it's powerful it's just so good in one bottle everything in one bottle michael kors by michael kors that's me the next one is the most gangster all right so the scenario is this fragrance allows you to walk into a room full of enemies and they cannot deny that you smell good. Now, I struggled a little bit with this one because I was going to pick Dior Addict again, but nah, nah. I chose a Zaro Wanted Girl. This, when I think of this fragrance, I all I can really say is it's good. It's just so good. Like, I've gotten compliments from men and female just saying that I smell good like it's just so freaking good you guys it's it's like a 
almondy caramel it's a sweet it's a sweet scent it's a gourmand it's definitely a gourmand it projects amazingly it lasts long on the skin on your clothes great quality perfume great great quality and i feel like even though you hate me boo you gonna tell me i smell good that's that gangsta fragrance you know what i'm saying that's that gangsta fragrance you might hate me but you know you're gonna respect this scent because it's good it's just it's just good <laughs> so the next category is the most innocent and the scenario is this is the type of scent you were to go to church or to meet the in-laws or somewhere you want to give off give off a conservative vibe and the one that I chose was um, I was struggling between this one and another one the one that I chose was true Sardi Donna which I still have in its box because it's just that lovely but excuse the glare sorry this is what it is true Sardi Donna I chose this one because this perfume it's so lovely you guys it's it's soft it's delicate delicate is the main word delicate it's not loud it's not obnoxious oh but you will smell me like when i first when i first used it i only used it once i got so many compliments like one lady at work told me oh my god girl you are lighting up this room with that fragrance another guy told me you smell really nice and mind you that was like towards the end of the day so this one lasted on me but it's just so i feel like just this is it's soft it's soft it's innocent it's delicate it's it's what it is just already donna this is what i chose but but i was debating between this one and hannah more butterfly which i also own but i didn't choose that one because i remember when i used to own hannah more butterfly years ago um <laughs> I was dating this guy and I asked him, babe, do I smell good? And then he was like, oh yeah, you smell like a cake. Makes me want to eat you up. <laughs> he said it just like that too. So if it's to go to church and if it's to go meet the in-laws, I don't, I don't want to smell. I don't want them thinking like, oh, she smells that good. I want to eat her in a like sexual way. So that's why I didn't choose Hannah Mori Butterfly, but that was... That was one of the runner-ups. That was one of the runner-ups. But I went with this one because this this is perfect for that. For church, to meet the in-laws, you know, for any conservative vibe that you want to give off. So the next category is the most rowdy. The most rowdy fragrance. Um, wow. I I don't I don't have a most rowdy fragrance to me to my nose but when i first saw this category the only perfume that came to mind honestly you guys was red door by elizabeth arden taylor elizabeth arden i believe red door i'll insert a picture here i used to own that perfume and you guys you could smell me for days like that thing is obnoxious it's it's loud you will smell me you will smell me and that's exactly sorry i didn't give you guys this the scenario it's this fragrance is loud obnoxious and everyone will smell you when you wear it red door by elizabeth arden you guys if you know about it then you know about it that thing is bold that thing is loud you will smell me i promise you i don't have it but yeah that's the one that the first one i thought about so the next category is the most noticeable recognizable signature scent i guess um that one was hard for me because i don't have a signature scent i have a lot of perfumes that i like to rotate and play with and you know pretty much just show love to all of them so i don't really have a signature but thinking about back in the days back then i kind of did have a signature back in high school my freshman year in high school and that would be curious by Britney Spears and I'll insert a picture I don't have that perfume in my collection at the moment but I my freshman year I smell like this this was what I wore throughout my whole freshman year in high school I guess 
that would be my signature and lastly um the one that most describes you in three parts so part a would be the bottle b the name like i guess most relatable to you and c overall describes and re represents you best so the bottle that i chose was again chusardi donna and i chose this bottle because it's just the simplicity of it it's simple and I, I'm mad that you guys can't really see the freaking bottle because of the glare of this light. But you see me like, <laughs> but it's just pure white is delicate with accents of gold. I love the simplicity of it. I love it's very minimal, but it still stands out. And I feel like that describes me. I don't mean to sound conceited or cocky. It's just very minimal, simple type of girl but something about her stands out and that's how i describe myself you know i'm not out there i don't feel like i'm one of the many um but there's just something about it that makes it pop you know it's just simple white with that pop of gold and also i love the fact that it's a milky bottle you can't really see the inside of the juice so you don't know if it's clear you don't know if it's yellowish you don't know if it's that's champagne champagne type of juice you don't know the color of the juice so it's kind of like with me you can't really see what's going on in here what's going on in here i'm getting kind of deep with this but yeah pretty much you, you don't know you would have to um just open me up and see whoa <laughs> wait not like that but you know what I mean. So yes, the bottle, I choose Tristardi Donna. And the name, the name that I choose that's most relatable to me is none other than Cloud by Ariana Grande. And I chose Cloud because I feel like half of my life, there's my life is reality and then there's the clouds. And I, I, I wish that there was a fucking excuse my language a fragrance that's called bubbles because as you see by my intro hi guys welcome back to my bubble because literally this is my bubble but i chose cloud because half of the time i'm always in a cloud you guys and in that cloud i'm talking to myself i'm expressing myself the way i want to i'm saying what i want doing what i want you know living how i want saying the things and doing the things and just expressing things in all aspects that I wouldn't really do in reality so yeah half the times I be in the clouds cloud by Rihanna Grande by Rihanna Grande what the hell by Ari Ariana Grande you see it's clouds. I have some clouds anyways so the last one um Overall describes, represents you best. And I chose Givenchy Very Irresistible. And I chose this fragrance, you guys, because out of all the fragrances that I have, I feel like this represents me. Like, it, it's the perfect amount of... Hold up. I don't even know where to spray it. But it's the perfect amount of everything. Sexiness, girliness sophisticatedness everything floralness freshness <sighs> yeah this is definitely me this is me it's it's everything in a bottle it's sexy elegant sophisticated grown but not too old like not a grandma scent not too old where it's like you smell like an old lady it's more like of a pretty pretty girl scent but leaning more towards the sophistication and elegance of a woman but still a girl you know what i'm saying yes the floral the freshness everything about it is just it has a little bit of everything and i feel like that describes me best in a bottle very irresistible by very irresistible by Givenchy. Anyways, you guys, that concludes this tag. This was fun. I enjoyed it, and it was super quick, too. Um, feel free 
to participate in this tag anyone who wants to do it feel free to do so um i suggest you do because it's fun it's different at least for me and for my channel i mean i'm not used to doing stuff like this so i wanted to try it out and let's see how you guys like it don't forget to rate comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one bye